guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting haul video. I did tell you guys in January's haul that I'm gonna try and haul everything I buy because last year I bought stuff here and there and I was really good at losing track of it and just putting it away in my makeup collection and then it never got talked about. I used it or I returned it and I never really did any follow-ups. So my goal is to be a little more organized with my hauls then I can do like haul revisited and I can say like, oh, this is my January haul revisited. You know what I mean? So hopefully in an attempt to be more organized, I can help you guys out and review products because I do buy more than eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> I just end up reviewing more eyeshadow palettes than anything else. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. Give this video a thumbs up if you think that is a good idea or leave me a comment down below if you have any other ideas on how I can be more efficient at uh, revisiting my hauls. I also did hit a thousand subscribers in the month of January, so I'm really, really excited. You know what that means. There will be more giveaways coming up for you guys. I have a ton of products stockpiled to give away, so definitely go ahead and subscribe down below so you can win some free makeup, because who doesn't love free makeup? First thing I did buy are these new blushes. Not new, but Everyone's just been talking about them recently. These are by the brand Burt's Bees. And I got two shades. I got Toasted Cinnamon and Bare Peach. And these have been raved about continuously on Instagram and YouTube. And I didn't think these would work with my skin tone. And I feel like I might be right. Now, I am at my lightest that I get in the winter time. So if they don't work now, they're definitely not going to work in the summertime. So if you are a tan girl like me, I would caution you about these because they're not really cheap and so they might just not work with our skin tone. I'm going to keep trying them out a little bit more. This is actually the blush I have on my skin tone. I feel like you won't even be able to tell. So these might end up going back, but I wanted to try them because I've seen so many YouTubers like freak out about these, but I might be a little too dark for these. So I'm just giving my tan girls a heads up so you don't waste your money in case you were thinking of peeing these up. Here is another palette that I used in this Get Ready With Me. You're probably like, Karen, I don't see anything neon. Well, you're going to have to wait for that video to see why. But this is the Sephora Pro Pro Pigment Palette in Neon. And there are six shades in here, 0.04 ounces per shade. And this is by the brand the Sephora brand. So they had those giant palettes come out. Was it last summer? I will insert a picture here if you don't know what I'm talking about. I actually purchased two of those palettes, so I will throw out that swatch party video as well if you guys are interested in checking that out. But this is the six shades that are like, not bestsellers, but favorites from the Neon palette that they came out with. So I was really excited to have this because this is only 20 bucks, and those other palettes were so big and so heavy that I ended up taking them back. I'm just gonna wait until you see the Get Ready With Me video. It's interesting. Yeah, so that's my Sephora palette purchase. Next thing I did pick up were some eyeshadows from the brand Davina Cosmetics. Now this was my first purchase from the Davina brand. I've been watching a lot of Angelica Nyquist, I believe is how you say her last name. She is currently my favorite YouTuber. She is so inspiring. I love her videos. They're totally up my alley. She does a lot of indie brands, reviews, tutorials. Her eye looks are amazing. She loves color. She basically thinks every neutral eyeshadow palette is super boring. And she's really encouraged me to step out of my comfort zone, which is a lot of like bronzy shades. So of course, when I saw her swatches of these eyeshadows, I literally wanted to die because they are so stunning. And I was like, I need those shadows. So I'm just going to give you a quick swatch of a few of them. These are so buttery. I don't know if I'm going to do a dedicated video for these eyeshadows, but oh my god. Like, they're so, so pretty. I'm actually wearing this first shade on my lids today. You don't need a whole lot. A little bit goes a long, long way. And I want to try out more stuff from Davina. She's got like all mattes and like a bunch of different collections coming out. So I'm really, really curious to keep trying that brand. But for now, I'm really happy with this collection. They've got a lot of cool stuff. This was definitely an Angelica made me do it 
purchase. Next item I picked up is the Total Temptation Mascara in the waterproof version. Now I have the non-waterproof version and if you guys are curious that just comes in the pink packaging. This one I just couldn't say no to because how cute is this packaging you guys. I don't really wear a lot of waterproof mascara but it was totally a packaging buy. Plus I don't feel so bad about it because I mean it's drugstore like sue me you know what I mean this is the elf finishing powder and this was inspired by young Wild and polish she has been raving about this powder so I saw it at my Walmart and I decided to pick it up I got the shade medium I think and I honestly feel like this is a little bit too dark for me I can still make it work but usually when I think medium I don't think quite this dark so that's something to keep in mind too if you guys are planning on purchasing this this is the powder I am wearing on my face today and so far I really like it and it's pretty affordable so I think if you want to purchase it it's not gonna kill you or anything so this is a very exciting purchase this is the L'Oreal true match Lumi shimmerista in the color sunlight and they actually have two shades I only picked up this one because it's more of a rose gold color the other one is a more like a pearl color this is really beautiful. It is not very long lasting though. So that's my only complaint about it. It is not glitter. It's definitely like a more shimmer object, but I think this would be beautiful. It's not too expensive. It's kind of like in the $14 range, but if you guys have wanted to try out, what is that brand that I don't like? Uh, this is better. Those ones, I had one of his powders and it was just such a mess, like shimmer everywhere. It was a nightmare. So. I think if you're looking for an affordable option, I would go with this guy by L'Oreal. The next drugstore items I picked up were these two foundations from Maybelline. I've heard so many good things about the Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. So I got the shade Golden Caramel and I feel like it's a really good match for me right now. This foundation is so affordable, you guys. I was actually shocked. I believe it was like $6. I think it was like 5 something and $6 rounded up. So very cool it doesn't have a pump though so I believe like the MAC foundation pump works with it but I'm not 100% sure this is Maybelline's nose foundation this is the super stay full coverage foundation that claims to be 24 hours I mean I don't really know who's wearing a foundation for 24 hours but for looking for a 24 hour foundation this is your guy and this is in the shade sun beige the one thing I do wish that Maybelline would do is just keep their shade corresponding like NARS every NARS foundation has the same shade range so it's really easy if you wear one shade in like say the sheer glow it's usually gonna be you're gonna find the same shade in their other formulas too which is very easy but I didn't think that was the same with Maybelline you guys can definitely correct me if I'm wrong but I didn't feel like the shades corresponded between the ranges. Now it's really cool because Maybelline does have a lot of shades which I really appreciate and it's definitely something that high-end brands can learn from the drugstore because I feel like drugstore has a lot of options for different skin tones which is really really cool. This is actually from Target. Most of my drugstore products I do try to buy from Walmart so I feel like it's so affordable but this is the Pixie It's Judy Time palette and I totally bought this because I watch this channel called Wanna Makeup or something. I really like her channel. She's from the south somewhere. She has an accent. I, I, I don't know much about her, but I love her channel. She has long haul videos and she just loves to talk about makeup, which is my favorite thing. So I will link her channel either down below or up in the cards if I remember. But she does makeup, like freelance makeup, and she said she used this on her brides. And then I thought, hey, it's on clearance, $16.80 instead of $24, and I thought I'd pick it up because I had eyed this palette, but I was not going to pay $24 for it, mostly because I love, like, ColourPop eyeshadow palettes, and they're so much cheaper than this. It's kind of crazy to think about how expensive drugstore is, but then you can go, like, ColourPop.com and find so many cool products for a lot less. So when I saw that it was $16.80, I was like, okay, well, it doesn't really get much cheaper than that. So I picked this up, and I did use it in this Get Ready With Me. So definitely keep an eye out for that palette if you guys want to know how it did. Next, I found this L'Oreal Crushed Foil Metallic like Line. There was like a whole little display set up with this kind of product, and I hadn't seen anyone talk about this on the internet. So I decided to pick these up. I couldn't pick, so I bought both shades. 
I have rose quartz and gilded gold. These are very, very buttery. I've already swatched them from when I did an Instagram with these products. So here is what one of them look like. They're very buttery. These are going to be really intense. I can just tell from the swatches, like you're really going to have to blend these into your skin. This one, that's the gold shade, the gilded gold, definitely has some glitter flecks in it, but these are really beautiful. They're not super expensive. I think they were like 10 bucks. The only thing though with drugstore, I feel like it's a little too little too late from them because all the luxury brands have already done every single possible highlighter you can think of. And now I feel like all these drugstore brands are trying to come out with highlighters and I'm just like, Anastasia highlighting kits are 40 bucks. And when you think of how much these cost, you can basically get two more and you'll have four highlighters for 40 bucks instead of spending like 12 to 15 dollars that these are. I can't quite remember. So they're cool. I'm glad they're doing like different things, but I feel like with the drugstore, it's a, t a little too late sometimes. And then it's like so hard to find these products because some drugstores don't get stock right away and it's just kind of a nightmare situation. So. If anyone is watching this from a drugstore company, just keep that in mind. Make your products easier to access. And I don't mean Ulta because Ulta is more expensive. I feel like Walmart's definitely cheaper. So I like to wait until stuff comes to Walmart. These liquid lipsticks are by the brand Flower Beauty. I was so curious. I bought three shades. I got Rosewood, I got Crimson Touch, and Frig Frenzy. I really like the shade Rosewood. It's the color I'm wearing on my lips today. And I love the applicator of this. It's very like a real bullet lipstick and melted it down. It's very, very creamy. The only thing, I did wear Fig Frizzy the other day and it did not wear very flatteringly, like wear off my skin very fat, flatteringly. It was very crusty and crumbly and I just did not enjoy that about Fig Frenzy. So I don't know, I might end up taking this color back because I don't like to keep makeup that I'm not going to use. This color is definitely different. It's a very grape, like plum shade. So I was like, oh cool, let me just get like a red, a neutral, and a dark shade just to like see what it's all about. But yeah, this color did not wear very flatteringly. And the other thing about this line too, a lot of the nudes looked exactly the same. So I was kind of confused because I'm like, uh, why do all these nudes look exactly the same? It was very, like, annoying because I'm like, uh, what if I wanted, like, a neutral nude shade and not, like, a pinky nude, you know? But if you guys have any other good neutral shades from that line, let me know because I'd be interested in picking up more shades from them and trying them out. This is the Lottie London Wing Woman Eyeliner. And Lottie London is sold at Ulta, but... Ulta has been out of it for ever, and I believe Casey Holmes was one of the first bigger YouTubers that started talking about this brand, and I, of course, did a, I think like a first impressions video, so I will link that for you guys if you're interested in checking it out. I tried out some of their makeup, and this was definitely one of those awesome, like, $6 liquid liners. And Lottie London is a, I believe it is a British brand, hence the name, but these are spectacular eyeliners and I saw that Forever 21 carries the line and they did have these in stock. I literally wanted to buy like eight of these, but I thought that might be excessive. So I bought three of them and I'm so glad that I have these in my collection again. I had an old, old one that needed to get thrown out and I was just holding on to it until I could restock some brand new ones. So. If you're looking for these, I found them on Forever 21's website. So another drugstore highlighter I had to pick up was the Maybelline Master Chrome. This is the Molten Rose Gold. I have the Molten Gold, which is the first shade they came out with. And then when they expanded the line, they also did a pearly shade. Again, I'm not into pearly highlights because that just does not work with my skin tone. It looks like I have a white stripe going across my face. So since I had really enjoyed the gold one, I decided to pick up the rose gold one and I must say I do enjoy this formula and yeah it's just nice to see more highlighters coming out from the drugstore so I would definitely recommend this brand if you're looking. I really like the gold one and this one is really pretty too so if you're a lighter skin tone than me too I think you'd definitely be able to pull this off and this is a very blinding highlighter so thumbs up from Maybelline for that. Another fun product, this is by L'Oreal as well. This reminds me of the Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadows. 
This is their Crushed Foil Metallic Eyeshadows. Again, it's part of that same series as the highlights I showed you earlier, but this is a very metallic formula. I feel like you're definitely going to want a want to use a glitter glue, but it's a very sheer formula as well. So I feel like this would be a really beautiful like lid topper or like an inner corner highlight. I haven't tried this out with the Too Faced glitter glue yet. I feel like that's where it'll do its best to just kind of pack it on over glitter glue, but yeah, they had quite a few shades. I just picked up one because I wanted to try it out and see. I don't typically like single eyeshadows because I just have so much makeup, it's hard for me to remember like, oh, I need to purchase, I need to grab that one single eyeshadow I have, you know? So I never really use them often, so I just grab one just to try it out. So fun fact about me, Milani is probably one of my favorite drugstore makeup brands. And I have heard Emily Noel talk so much about this primer. I finally picked this up. This is like seven bucks. This is the Milani eyeshadow primer. It's lightweight, invisible finish, works on all skin tones. And I did use it in this Get Ready With Me video, but I'm so excited to finally have this and test it out. I'm trying really hard not to buy multiples of things that I already have. Like usually to prime my lids, I use the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So I was like, I don't really need an eyeshadow primer. But I was at Walmart and I was like, okay, let me just try this. So I did actually pick this up. And I also did pick up their concealer. The shade is a little bit too light for me. But this is the Milani Retouch Erase Light Lifting Concealer in the shade Medium. If you're my skin tone or darker, I definitely go with a darker shade. But I kind of eyeballed this online and bought it. And I've heard lots of really good things about it. I wish I'd gotten a shade closer to mine, but... Yeah, two cute little guys from Milani. Real nugget products. Okay, I also picked up one of these. I don't know why. I really didn't need this. I just kind of caved because the packaging was so cute. This is the Color Riche Shine in Glossy Fawn. This is more like a lip balm, I would say. Uh, packaging is super cute. It's like clear acrylic container. This is a beautiful like nudie brown shade. I feel like you can definitely just reapply this throughout the day if you are going to work or you have a serious job where you can't wear any crazy lip colors, you might really enjoy this formula. Okay, I did pick up one more thing from Sephora. This is the Huda Beauty Lash Glue. I've been trying harder to wear more lashes, and I was just really curious. This is a dark tone lash glue, and I believe my friend Nisha uses this, so I wanted to try it out and see if it improved my lash game at all, so that's a random purchase. Sephora purchase that I threw in here. I also did get a little sample of the Biosance Peptide Eye Gel, which reduces puffiness and dark circles. So I'm excited to try this because I believe this is a newer brand to Sephora, which is really exciting. And then I have my last drugstore purchase is the L'Oreal Infallible Glow Lock Illuminating Primer. This is to go with their glow foundation, but I decided to get the glow one because it's winter here and I can always have more glow if you ask me. I do love dewy skin, so I decided to pick that up. Okay, and then I totally forgot. I gotta tell you guys about these two masks I found by the brand Found. I believe this is a newer-ish brand to Walmart and they do have a full range of makeup, but I felt like I bought so much makeup already that I was just gonna wait and let the big beauty gurus try it because I only have a limited budget. But I do love a good sheet mask, so I decided to pick up two of them. I got the brightening and the pore care. You guys, anything with coconut, I'm just a freaking sucker for, so I will buy anything with a freaking coconut on it because I'm obsessed with the scent of coconut, so I will keep you guys posted. This will probably be in an empties video once I try it out, but yeah, really excited for those drugstore masks, and those were $2.50, so not terribly priced. And now on to palettes. I did pick up a few eyeshadow palettes and face palettes. The first one I did get is the Juvia's Place. This is the Festival palette. Of course, everyone's been talking about this. This freaking red shade is so stunning. I cannot wait. There's going to be a swatch party video coming up for sure, so keep your eyes peeled. Just, oh, I can't wait to dive into this palette. Another one I picked up kind of on a whim is this one by the brand Glam Light. This kind of reminds me a lot of that palette I picked up by Ace Beauté. It's not really like a well-known brand. Glam Light, I think, makes those like lights for your phone. So I don't really know why they decided they needed to venture into makeup, but this is what the palette looks like. I did see some smaller Instagram 
YouTuber types get this palette in PR and I didn't really think anything of it but then I saw that they were having like a coupon code or something and so I got it like a little bit discounted so I was like oh let me try it why not I'm all about trying brands that you know I've never really heard of and etc the glitter shades in this palette are really beautiful so if you're looking for a not so spendy brand you might want to check out Glamlight. I will try and remember to link them in the description box so you can shop easier. But yeah, I don't know. I Sometimes I randomly try Instagram brands and it works out for the most part. It's always worked out. So very, very cool palette from them. Next, I did pick up the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush palettes. Now, I did swatch these on the gram as well. I am so far not super impressed with these. I'm glad I bought them on Sephora.com because I have a feeling these are gonna go back. These are $89 a piece. Yeah, I'm not I'm not impressed. I'm gonna do a swatch and review of this palette, both of these palettes on my channel eventually. So definitely subscribe if you want to hear more thoughts from me on these palettes, but I do have both of them and I kind of feel like a crazy person that I bought both but I couldn't pick. So this is my life. And of course I had to get this. I was gonna try and wait for the sale, the VIB sale in April, but uh, girl's gotta have her Pat McGrath palette. So this is what the new one looks like. Again, swatch party video is coming up. And of course I will have a review for you guys as well. This palette is a little bit different because all these shades are shimmer, so that should be interesting. Definitely going to caution you if you're not into all shimmer palettes. Okay guys, that is everything I picked up in my haul. Let me know if you have any questions. I will have a follow-up video coming for you guys whenever I get through trying out all these products. I have a feeling a few of these are going to get returned, but I will talk about every single item I mentioned when those follow-up hauls go up. So definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to hear my thoughts on these products. Also, like I said, swatch party videos coming, all kinds of shit coming. So definitely, definitely go ahead and subscribe. But that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.